Placing your subjects intentionally in the frame is an important part of visual storytelling. The following concepts are guidelines, not concrete rules. Many of these rules can actually be broken on purpose to create a sense of tension or discomfort in a scene. As with any other art form, however, you need to learn the rules in order to break them in a meaningful way. He's coming over. Now why would he be doing that? Because Mary's waving at him. No. The rule of thirds is the practice of dividing the frame into equal thirds, horizontally and vertically, with invisible lines. The lines and their intersection points are the best places to position important or visually appealing parts of an image. You can use the top line to frame the eyes of your subject in a close-up, for example. The lines help guide the eyes of the audience around the screen and will help you frame your shot in a pleasing way. The Attorney General says there's too much violence on TV, and that should stop. Lead room, also called looking or nose room, is the space between the front of the subject and the edge of the frame in the direction they are facing. Lead room is used to imply that the subject is looking at or moving toward something off screen, as well as to show their gaze or where they're going. To make sure you have enough lead room, you can line up your subject with the vertical third line on the opposite side of the frame they're facing. A small amount of lead room can feel uncomfortable because the audience can't follow the gaze of the subject or see where they're heading. However, if discomfort is your intention, then go for it. But what about us? We'll always have Paris. Headroom refers to the space left above a subject's head in the frame. Typically, there should be some space left between the top of their head and the frame, but not too much. Depending on the shot, it is sometimes acceptable to give your subjects a haircut, that is, framing their head in a way that doesn't include the top of their hair. He's looking at you, kid. 